Hi guys, this is your boy Mwas Manuel and I am super excited to share with you a particular movement that I always do on the five that leads me to either a, mi a major chord or a minor chord. But before we get there, this is worth mentioning. This is my second tutorial th on this channel and it's going to be my first tutorial this year. So this year I'm going to be so consistent on doing tutorials just to share materials that will help us uh, learn a few things just so that we can make music more interesting okay so my i'm going to be on my home key is this i'm going to be on c sharp so c sharp is going to be my home key or if you like my happy ending <laughs> okay so this is the movement i'm going to be so brief and uh, straight to the point so bear with me i'm not I'm, I'm trying to i'm going to try break it down in a way that everyone understands just so that uh we are on the same page. I'm going to start with the application first and then break it down later. This is the movement. One more time. One more time. One more time for good measure. That's leading to the minor chord. And this is going to be leading me to the major. Same thing. One more time. One more time. And one more time for good measure. Mm. Yeah. Just something very simple, uh, but the concept around it is even, even it's even simpler. <laughs> so it's a, it may sound complicated or anything, and especially if you do it fast. But trust me, it's the simplest thing you can ever play. So this is the fifth degree of C sharp. Sasawa. C sharp major, C sharp minor. Okay. It's still the fifth degree. So, sim as simple as the fifth chord is, the movement just makes the difference. But you have to, like, it's the timing that matters, how you're playing it. So, there are only, like, three notes we are adding. Three or four, basically, just to complete, just to make that movement complete. And uh, so that it may lead us to where we are going. So the notes that we are adding, so that's the fifth chord. I mean, when you're playing it on the right hand, it's just three, three notes. And then with the left hand, it's just three notes. It's just that simple. But the movement makes the difference. So on the right hand first, this is what we are doing. And just by listening to that, let me do it one more time. It just makes the difference. First of all, it gives you that augmented sound. Eh? Augmented. Augment, mm, augmented sound. What's that augmented sound? Okay, first of all, this is an augmented chord that I'm playing. That's giving me that wonderful sound that you're hearing on, uh, on the right hand. It, it kind of makes that movement so interesting. Or sound interesting. So, the, 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 the chord itself is this. This is the C augmented chord. C augmented chord. Uh, C augmented chord is nothing, anything complicated. It's just C, the third degree of C scale, and then the sharp five. One, two, three, four, five. So, one, two, three. Okay, the question is this. How do we come up with an augmented chord? This is how we come up with an augmented chord. One, the three, and the sharp five okay or the flat six and then on my left hand this is the movement that i'm doing Woo! you hear that movement everywhere i mean it's a very it's a very mo uh, common movement It, it has already, I'm sure it has already made sense to you. 
So basically that those are the notes that are moving around. That's the movement. Oh, okay, the movement is this. Sasawa. So when I put it together, this is how it sounds like. And uh, we are like move we are gracing it. Eh? The in between notes on my right hand. Eh? So basically from here to here we are gracing it. Like we are just passing through. It's not like we are not taking our time on the E, okay? So and then now that we are there, that's what's happening. We are moving from F and A flat to G and E. And then we are moving from G, same notes, I mean, sorry, same fingers. We are moving all the way to F sharp and D sharp, or if you like, G flat and E flat. Sasawa. So, now that you got that one, there's one little detail that makes the difference. There's this thing that I'm doing here. It sounds like a pivot, you know. So, once I'm there, so that I move to these two notes, I'm first playing this. So this is what I'm doing. Yeah, it's kind of like pivoting me to these two notes. So let me do it one more time. And then, then you resolve. It's that simple. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So, uh, I hope that was uh, beneficial to you. I hope you learned something and I hope that you I, I, when, if you learn that chord and uh, get a chance to use it somewhere, you can tag me on that video. I would feel so nice. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Stick around. There's, there, there, there's going to be more and more tutorials like this. Yeah, so bless guys. See you when you see me.